Hi everyone, this is Steven. Uh, this is the third video for May 6, 2020. And um, I just want to remind you, uh, after watching uh, all three videos, uh, don't forget to text, uh, text us back and saying that you have finished watching them all, okay? All right, um, we're gonna, I wanna go over some, um, some uh, sentences uh, from the book. Uh, on page 37, page page 37 from on the student book, okay, page 37, and uh, I wanna I wanna uh, go over uh, two and enough, okay, two and enough. Remember, two plus adjective is what is more than the right amount. Uh, enough. I'm sorry. Adjective plus enough is the right amount, and not plus adjective plus enough is less than the right amount. Okay. All right. So look at the look at the question here. It says, "Can they swim today?" Look at the first picture. First picture. Okay. Can they swim today? It says, "Cold swim, warm." Okay. Cold swim, warm. Okay. Got three words. So, what can you do? What can you do? Give me a sentence. Can you make a sentence using two or enough? Using cold, swim, and warm? What would you say? Okay. Again, you can always freeze this, okay? Just pause the video and write your sentence or say, say the sentence and then see if we have the right uh, sentence or if we agree on these answers, okay? So, first is what? Looks like they're wearing coats, right? They're wearing, it looks like it's the winter time. So, you know, obviously it's cold. So you would say what? It's too cold to swim, right? It's too cold to swim. You would say it's too cold to swim, okay? It's too cold to swim, okay? It's winter time. You're not going to go swimming, okay? Not wearing uh, coats like that, okay? What can you can you think of another way to say this? What's another way to say this using those three words? Okay, um, you could say you could say what you could say. It's not warm enough. It's not warm enough to swim, right? It's not warm enough to swim. It's not warm enough to swim. Okay, so. You know, they're both negative meanings, right? It's too cold to swim. Okay, it's too cold. Okay, I don't, don't want to swim. Okay, or it's not warm enough to swim. It's it's, it's not warm enough. I, I I need hot weather if I want to go swimming. Okay, all right. Number two. What how about number two? That was simple. Okay, just hot, hot and swim. Hot and swim. Hot and swim. Can you say it's too hot to swim? I mean, you can, but that that doesn't make any sense with this picture. This picture is like summertime. The sky is um, relaxing on the beach, right? Very very nice day. Okay, so you will say what? You will say it's hot enough to swim, right? Okay, it's hot enough to swim. Does that make sense? It's hot enough to swim. Okay, it's hot enough to swim. Can you do it another way? It's not hot enough to swim? No. It's too hot to swim? No. Can't do it that way. Okay. All right. Let's go to number three. What's number three? Number three. Number three is young drive old. Young drive old. Okay. Young drive old. Look at the picture. The little little boy there. Does he look like he has a driver's license? He looks very young. He looks like maybe he's like seven years old. I don't know. You know, he doesn't even look like he's in high school. Okay, definitely not, maybe not even middle school. Okay, so you will say, young, drive, old. Which words would you use? Okay, so you will say, okay, he is what? That's right, too young, not the right amount, not good enough, okay? He is too young to drive, okay? And every time you use that too, which has a negative meaning, you could probably use the other negative meaning using not, right? Okay, so you could say what? Okay, remember, you can freeze and write down your answer or say your answer. Okay, you can say, he is 
not old enough to drive. Okay, he is not old enough to drive. So you can do it both ways, okay? He is not old enough to drive. Okay. All right, number four. Number four. What do you got for number four? Number four. Number four. Number four is old and drive, okay? And looks like, what does it say on the birthday card? It's happy, happy 18th birthday. Okay, in America, you can get a driver's license at age, what, 16, right? You can get a learner's permit at 15. And if you pass your test, uh, you can get a uh, you can get a real driver's license, official driver's license at 16. And she's 18 already. So I mean, I don't know if she has a license or not, but age-wise, is she old enough? I think so. So you will say she is old enough to drive. Okay, she is old enough. She is old enough. To drive, okay. All right. Um, okay. So, I mean, can you say she is young enough to drive? No, you don't. You wouldn't say that. Okay. All right. Number number five. Weak. Lift the TV and strong. Okay. Weak is not seven days, right? That's W E E K. This is W E A K. Same pronunciation pronunciation but it's a different word right different meaning okay weak means not strong the opposite of strong okay no energy no strength that's weak okay weak lift the tv strong how would you do that how would you do that okay let me let me erase some of this this is getting a little too much let me erase all this okay so number five Okay, weak, strong, lift the TV. So you, you will say what? Is he, is he, is he is, right? He is strong enough to lift the TV, right? He is strong enough to lift the TV. He is strong enough to lift the TV, okay? Is it right? Okay. So, um, well, I don't know. Maybe he's. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how, what's going on with the uh, drawing, but I don't know. Maybe he's dropping it. I don't know. Maybe he needs help. Okay. So if he needs help, you gotta do what? You gotta say he is not strong enough to lift the TV okay so it depends on how you see the picture okay um, you know I think he's strong enough but because he's a big guy but I don't know maybe maybe looks like he's dropping it I don't know okay but if you think he's strong enough then you, this is how you write it he is strong enough to lift the TV if you think he's not you know <laughs> he's having he's having trouble then you're gonna say he is not strong enough to lift the TV and if that's the case well, what, what can you do? You could you could say what? You could you could say he is too weak to lift the TV. Okay, he's too weak. Okay, okay. So you know, weak. You know, weak means what? Not strong. That's the right amount. If he's having if he's if he's having problems lifting the TV, then he's weak, which is the right amount, right? So he is too weak. To lift the TV, okay. So you can do it. Uh, you can do it either way, okay, depending on uh, depending on um, how you see the picture. Okay. If you think he's strong enough, okay, how would you do that? Can you do it another way? He's strong enough to lift the TV. Okay. No, that's you know, that's 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 the only way. Okay. All right. So depending on how you see the picture, you can do it this way, or you can do it this way. Okay. If you think he's strong. Then you do it this way. If you think he's weak, then you do it these two ways, okay? Okay, strong, weak, okay? All right, number six. Let's try number six. What's number six? Number six, number six is strong, lift the TV. Okay, so maybe that settles it, okay? Maybe this guy was weak in number five, okay? So number, number six is strong, okay? Number six is strong. So now this time is they. 
They are strong enough to lift the TV. Okay? They are strong enough to lift the TV. They are strong enough. They are strong enough. Okay? They're two people, no problem. Okay? They're strong enough. Okay? So can you make it in a negative way? No, not really. Okay? I mean, they're strong enough. It's positive. Okay? All right. Number seven. What's number seven? Number seven is uh, short, reach the books, tall. Okay? Short, reach the books, tall. Okay? So, you say, she is too short oops, to reach. Okay? She is too short to reach the books. Okay? You know, reach, alcanzar. Okay? Okay? She is too, she is too short to reach the books. She is, she is too short to reach the books. Okay? So that's that's a negative thing, right? That's a negative thing. So how would you how would you do it with uh with uh using tall in another negative way? You could say she is what? Is not tall enough. Okay? So you know uh book mentioned this as well. If you if you if you don't know what's going on, obviously you got you got, you got to get the whole information, right? Entire information. Okay, she is too short to reach the books. But if you know what's going on, you can just say, you know, she is she is not tall enough. Okay, we understand. Okay, you don't have to say she is not tall enough to reach the books. She is not tall enough. Okay, very good. All right, the last one, number eight. Number eight. Number eight is tall reach the books. Tall reach the books. Okay, so you gotta say what? She is what? She is too tall? She is okay, no. She is tall. She is tall enough. She is tall enough to reach the books. Okay? Were they easy? Were they easy? They're not they're not too bad, right? Okay, when you realize to is like negative, like not. Okay, to something is like not, not enough something. Okay, okay. So, um, let's go to let's go to the let's go to the workbook. Okay. Again, if you have any questions or comments, if I make any mistakes, let me know. Okay. You can email me. You can um. You can text it back if you want, or you can just write a comment below the video in YouTube. Okay, so let's go to workbook. Uh, workbook, page 35. Okay, let's go to workbook, page 35. Okay, so let me know. Let me know. Okay, let me go. Let me get the workbook here. Okay, this is the, this is the workbook. Okay. And I'm gonna go to page page 35 here. Page 35. See it? Page 35. Okay, we'll do that section right there. Okay. Alright. So where are we here? Section number four on page 35. Okay. On page 35, section number four. Okay. Um, it says in the first one, I don't want to live in the city anymore. I don't want to live in the city anymore. Okay, it sounds negative, right? I don't want to. I don't want to. So you so you see what? It's noisy. It's noisy. Okay, so it's negative, right? So you're gonna say what? It's too. It's too noisy. Okay? And then the second person says, I agree. It's okay, what's another way to say negative? It's what? It's not quiet enough okay so too noisy same as not quiet enough okay because they're both negative remember this is negative this is negative right negative because it's not is obviously negative two remember when we use two that's a negative thing right all right very good you know is the noise level is more than what i can deal with okay is i can't I, it's too noisy 
Okay, it's not good. It's too much. Okay, I don't need it. All right, number two. What's number two? The rent for the apartment is expensive. Okay, expensive. Okay, obviously it's a negative negative idea, right? When you say something is expensive, that means you don't like it, right? <laughs> you don't like it. It's a negative thing. So you want to use what? Ah, uh, yes, too. Too expensive. Okay. Okay. You know, if you make a lot of money, that's good, right? But if you have to pay a lot of rent, that's not good. When it's expensive, you don't like it. You want it to be cheap or inexpensive, okay? So you want to say it's too expensive, okay? Too expensive. All right. And then the second, the B, 2B, it says, you're right. It's, it's what? Another way to make it negative is what? Same thing as the first one. Not. Not cheap enough. Okay? Not cheap enough. Okay? Not cheap enough. Okay? It's less than the right amount. Okay? Okay? So, I want it to be cheap. That's the right amount. But, it's not. So, it's less. Okay? All right. Number three. Number three. Number three. What's number three? We need a new house. We need a new house. Okay? So, we need a new house. Okay? Which means what? The house that we live in is something negative, right? You can, you can feel the negativity coming, right? We need a new house. That means what? I don't like my house that I, I live in right now, okay? So, we need a new house. Our house is small. How small? <laughs> it's, it's too small, right? Too small. Okay? Small, okay? So, this is negative, okay? It's, it's too small, okay? You know, small, small could be okay, or it could be a good thing, you know? You know, if you say, I have a small stomach, <laughs> that's a good thing, right? <laughs> but when you, when you put a two in front of it, it's too small, that means it's not good, okay? It's, it's no longer good, okay? It's less than good, okay? It's less than the right amount, okay? So my house is too small. That's true. Our house is not big enough, okay? So definitely negative, not big enough. Okay, so far so good? All right, number four, number four. I don't like, I don't like this exercise. It's, okay, I don't like, that's negative. That's so obvious, right? I don't like, so you gotta say what? It's too, too what? Too difficult, okay? It's too difficult. It's too difficult, okay? You know, it's too, I mean, I can handle a little bit of difficult, okay? <laughs> but this is too difficult. Very negative, okay? All right, so number four. And the, uh, the other person says, I agree. It's, it's not too, oh, I'm sorry. It's not easy enough, okay? <laughs> it's not, it's not easy enough, okay? All right, number five. Number five, number five, I want to quit my job. It's, it's boring, okay? Okay, you want to quit? It's a negative thing, right? You don't like your job. It's, how boring? It's too boring. It's too boring. It says, you've complained to me before that your job is interesting? No, not. Not interesting. Not interesting enough. Not interesting enough, okay? So they're both negative, okay? All right, let's do the last one. Number six, number six. Number six, my daughter wants to take a trip by herself. She is, young is okay, but to take a trip, she might be a little too young, okay? Too young, okay? You know, if you say, I am young, that could be a positive thing. Okay, or I'm very young. Okay, that could be a positive thing. Okay, many people want to be young, right? But when you say, I am too young, like I am too young to drive, I'm too young to go on the roller coaster, I am too young to take a trip alone, that's a negative thing. I'm too young, and, and the other answer is what? I agree. She's not old enough. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson. Okay, was it easy? Make sense? Does it make sense?
Okay. All right. Let me know. Let me know if you have any problems or questions or suggestions or comments. Okay. All right. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye bye.